guys, Sherry here from No Facts Game Crew. How's it going? guys sherry here from nftc how's it going so this is going to be a twin flame reading uh for march the 9th until the 20th i hope you're all doing well so i'm going to use a couple of different decks here um so i put up a poll to see if you know if you guys are interested in the channel if you want to keep the channel going and you know that some of the comments were just so beautiful thank you guys so much um, knowing that you guys are there watching, um, you know, gives me all the motivation in the world, uh, just to know that you care and you're, you're listening. So a card popped up. I think we'll use it as the energy for the overall energy, uh, balancing act number 11. So finding balance in your life. Um, we'll have a look at the book a little bit later, but yes, thank you guys. Um, so I had like 120 votes. I would have liked to have seen more, but um, 120 is still a lot. And also a special thanks to my patrons. Um, you know, sometimes there's been moments where, you know, the patron um, payout was made and it, it's kind of like saved my life where, you know, it's like, oh, wow, you know, I really needed that. And so thank you guys so much. You keep me afloat. All right, and so we got Dorian, or um, call it Baron Reed, sorry, Enchanted Map was the first deck. The second deck here is um, call it Baron Reed, Wisdom of the Oracle, and then we also have Dorian, Virtue, Romance, Angels. All right, so I think we'll use this as the past positions, and let's do it for the present as well. Okay, near future and final outcome. And so for the union energy, but I gotta say like the readings that have really been resonating with me, whatever I say in the reading seems to come true. You know, a couple of weeks ago it was about, um, don't worry, you're, you are protected. And I was most definitely, but I got help when I didn't, you know, least expected it. And, um, this week's or last week's twin flame reading was about having a sense of, you know, success and completion. And yeah, like, um, I got a great new position, more hours, better wage. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, okay. So let's give these guys a little shuffle. So I have extra decks printed, ready to go. So um, if anybody's interested in ordering my cards, um, they are $75 without the reading and $100 with a reading. So a twin flame reading, which is a really good bargain. So you can just contact me through my email which is sherry shock at hotmail.com and it's in the details section below. All right, so let's begin. Ah, oh my god, a whole bunch of cars just fell out on the ground. Okay, I don't want to stop the camera, so just hold on a second. Okay, I'm not going to look at them. I'm going to give them a little bit more of a shuffle here. Alright, so I want to look at the book for the Call It Bear and Read card, Balance. So some of the feedback that I got was to go back to doing extended readings. Um, I thought people enjoyed the smaller versions, but um, you can definitely do that. 
And another advice was to be consistent. Um, as you know, I had to take some time off in order to finish the book, and it was a huge accomplishment on my part. For me, it's something that I really needed to do. I originally just wanted to do um, a card description book, but, you know, quantum physics came to the surface. I needed to be able to get that out as well. Um, it's based on research that I've been doing for 10 years. <clears throat> okay, so it says, you are calm within no matter the fluctuation of outer condition. So there's times when things seem a bit topsy-turvy and you feel like you're juggling a thousand balls. Uh, perhaps you're unsure of your footing. Now's the moment to evaluate which areas of your life need balance and then restore them. Choose harmony over discord. Great success will be yours if you can find the balance. So overall energy is finding balance feeling like there's a lot of shit happening in your life and um, making conscious choice to be in a peaceful state rather than becoming part of the chaos. Right, so what's in the past position? Hmm, it's in reverse. So if this card is in reverse, I'll, oh no, it's supposed to be in reverse, okay. So goblins in reverse is not facing your fears, not, um, you know, feels like you want to move forward on a journey, but you can't because there's just these fears standing in your way. That's in reverse. Okay, so it's often difficult to deal with someone else's issues because they impact your own. No one is perfect, but in this case, you're particularly vulnerable to being manipulated. Don't take this world personally. When the Goblin's card arrived reversed, it's a sign to step back with detachment. Don't let other people's stuff um, lead, or sorry, other people's stuff lead you into reacting from an old wound. Love yourself unconditionally. Set boundaries and your Goblins will fall asleep. Love is the only answer. So the feminine, I guess, you know, that means that it's, you've been detaching from the Goblins. Um, you're not taking other peop people's shit on as your own. Um, so, yeah, I mean, chaos, confusion, uh, and it looks to me like the feminines were detaching, which is great. King of Fire, Ten of Fire, and the Universe card. So, the King of Fire could represent an air, I mean, sorry, a fire sign. Somebody who's very passionate, leader, driven, courageous, wants to conquer, control. Um, so they're very persuasive people, very passionate about what they do. The Ten of Fire is being caught in the machine, so it's you know just being exhausted. So it looks like the feminine um, really was determined and focused on, a, you know, perhaps being a light worker. Um, but there was a lot of inspiration and creativity along with this as well. But it feels like they were, they felt caught in the machine. They gave too much of themselves and they collapsed in exhaustion. Uh, they realized they needed to detach from something. So, um, but there's this sense of awareness, um, the spiritual enlightenment the, knowing that they are being played and manipulated and so they had to detach. So the universe card, yeah. So this is the end of the fool's journey. They've reached the finish line. Um, so this is achievement. Um, this is finishing a cycle from you know 20 years up to lifetime. Um, being tested, you know, having to go through the fire many times and coming to this major, major realization and wisdom as a result of it. You see the universe. Um, you see, you understand all the secrets of the universe, you know. So I feel this is really pointing towards, you know, the feminine being light workers and being tested and not being triggered by certain things. Mask in this past position, dry desert. So this is diving deep for answers. Feeling like things have dried up. Feeling like you you get no 
um, you know, you don't feel good uh, about what you've achieved or you feel, you know, just numb almost. And so it's about diving deep into yourself, looking um, for those emotional connections and turning in a different direction. And it's also about resilience as well. Ace of Pentacles, another number one, a magician, and the Four of Cups. So we have an 11 here. So the Seat of Intention or Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity, a gift. He's been given a key that it will promise abundance and prosperity. So where he felt something was overdone with, um, he was given an opportunity and a new direction. The uh, magician or alchemist is focusing all of your attention and energy on manifesting your dream. So taking that seed of intention and growing it, manifesting it. Um, so this is a self-conscious mind activation. Now, the Four of Cups in the future position is stagnation, feeling like things aren't going anywhere. Uh, it's a longing energy. It's looking to the past. So, you know, again, it, it counts to this card. It's like they're both facing in this, you know, direction that has nothing to do with the Twin Flame connection. And there is a masculine and feminine energy here. Um, but it's like... They feel this void or this emptiness um, where before there was a new start, an idea, um, control, awareness. Things have slowed down and they feel, feels like he's numb. Present position for the feminine mountain. So... Again, it's kind of pointing to that Ten of Wands, exhaustion, feeling like you don't have what it takes to climb up that mountain and conquer whatever it is that you need to achieve. But, you know, the message in this card is to go with the flow, uh, go with the current, go around it, um, don't fight. You have the strength to overcome anything, you know, and you have been through a lot. So let's see what the clarifiers are. Three of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Same card that the masculine got in the future. So this could be the future of the past or the future of the future. So it may not have happened yet. So there's a sense that you're both kind of in the present moment, um, past, present, and future, feeling stagnation, feeling a disconnect, feeling emotionally um, strung, like you're being strung along or just uh, inability to let go of something. Now, the Three of Wands in the past position, that's a thumbs up. Yeah, you know, it's achievement, it's success, it's um, encouragement from the universe. The Page of Pentacles is a commitment to a long-term goal. So it's starting a new job, which resonates with me, you know, very positive energy, um, life has taken me in a new direction, and so I'm focused on that. Um, so what it really th points to is commitment to a new vision, new opportunity. So um, even though the feminine may be focused on a new start, you know, she seems to be giving a lot of herself in the past, um and feels accomplished on many levels, there's this, uh, you know, a new start. She wants to move forward with it, but it feels like it's a huge mountain to climb. Um, but I do feel she's committed to it. Um, on the other hand, you know, there's a sense of her focusing too much on su her financial success and feeling a void in her, her heart, where, you know, both aspects are feeling that void, I guess. Flying. Okay, so this is feeling 
accomplished, feeling almost like you're riding a wave of success. Let me just look at the book here. Okay, so it says, you have the power to see things from a higher perspective. If you were a bird flying high in the air, what would you see? When you soar above, life's challenges and opportunities, a new perspective becomes available. Okay, so yeah, so he he shifts perspectives. Um, he rises above. She, you know, becomes that bird flying in the sky. Three of Cups, hope, and more expansion. These two cards are very similar. You know, it's expansion of the consciousness, um, an opening, seeing from a high, higher perspective, seeing all the possibilities. So the Three of Cups past position is vibe tribe, connecting with other people, having fun, dancing, laughing, uh, immersing yourself in love and connectedness. So the hope card in the present position is, you know, that cooling air. Um, it's after the, you know, very difficult time, like the tower, and so it's offered. It offers hope and comfort, and healing energy. So there was possibly um, a connection made that made him feel hopeful. Like he is moving into more positive, uplifting visionary type of energy it also could mean he feels like his wishes and dreams are coming true so he's flying high healing whereas he felt something was ending drying up becoming old there is a new start new direction near future for the feminine breathe okay so this is chilling take a chill pill relax calm yourself meditate um, similar energies as the hope card um, let's see where is the 29 okay so Patience, waiting, going slowly, wellness, meditation, trust. Patience in all things is called for right now. Yes. What do, why do you need a rush? Just relax. Let things go with the flow. Don't try so hard. Six of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Page of Fire. So Six of Wands um, points to... A feeling of success, accomplishment. You're you're being cheered on. You're the rock star. Um, so it's almost like in the near future you're going to be po um, focusing on or remembering times in the past that you felt empowered and encouraged. You know, feeling like the king of fire. You know, the rock star. Um, and so that confidence that you know feeling like you're on the right path moves you into a quieter state of meditation and you become resilient bending with the wind it's very similar to this energy of you know juggling too many balls the two of pentacles is that seed of intention planted as it takes root it changes the environment you feel unsteady so in the chaos uh, in a changing world you surrender and become peace future position we have the page of wands which is communication um, great news you, you're beginning a new adventure so where something completed you're still riding that passionate wave of success you know thumbs up here the king of wands the six of wands all happening in the past um, you began something and then completed it and focused your attention on something else in the 3D reality. So you're shifting from like a more creative, spiritual 
side to a more 3D side. You want to achieve stability long term. And so you meditate on that. And as a result, you become inspired. Great news comes to you um, that has to do with the past. Some type of messenger. Okay, in the near future for the masculine, a leg up. So this is how, getting help. Um, yeah, it's like the mother bear protecting the cub there, giving the cub nutrients and teaching them and protecting them. But it's like ha having family. And very similar energy, the three of cups there. Having your, your friends around you. Two of cups. Ego. Three of pentacles. So the two of cups in the past position, spiritual union. Again, some type of connection was made, a celebration of it, love, true love. Um, and feeling that void, of that loss, and then making a connection again. But we got the ego here. The ego, you know, is a chain, codependent relationship, addiction, dealing with the ego. Um... Yeah, I don't know. You know, it doesn't make too much sense, especially with that expansion card there. So let me just pull a clarifier here. So I got my little clarifier deck. It just has words written on it. What do you mean by the devil card? It's true love. Okay, it's true love. Because that's what the spiritual union card, the Two of Cups, means in the past. Um, let me look at the book for Leg Up. Maybe it'll make more sense if I look into that a little deeper. I know there's a message there, but I'm just not seeing it right now. So it says, you've come to a point where going it alone is no longer optimal. Okay, there we go. So stagnation, loneliness, um, feeling... You know, like you have nothing there. Uh, so life has a way of presenting you with perfect people to align you with who you can give you a leg up during this next phase of the journey. Help comes to you in all areas of your life where you need, it, need a boost. The trick is to accept the aid, so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and independent to commingle, Miracles happen. Now is such a time. Okay, so help. He gets help. Possibly the twin flame connection makes him feel that he has the strength to let go of the ego. Um, yeah. Firm foundation, beautiful in the future position. So he feels grounded, strong because of that connection, reaching out for help, receiving help. So what is happening at the foundation is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I'm not really seeing that as happening in the past, except for, you know, actually I take that back because we got the three of cups, we got the two of cups happening in the past. We're not seeing that expression very much on the feminine side. Um, if anything, she feels the disconnect. The masculine, we have the four of cups in the future, so I feel that that disconnect feeling, you know, um, is being drawn into the, n you know, near future. But otherwise, there's a sense of him feeling love and being able to express it. I don't know. So we got the Two of Pentacles and the base Chakra, so insecurities. So again, it, it's the same kind of energy as feeling like you're... Um, actually, was the juggling balls... Oh my god, I'm getting things mixed up. Anyway, the Two of Pentacles is a shift, a change in the 3D reality. And so it's like he planted that seed of intention and it is growing... And it's like the seed of love is growing. And he was maybe expressing himself. 
Yeah, I don't know. But it ran dry. The base chakra, the lower chakra, is safety, security. Um, the feminine didn't feel safe to express herself, how she felt, or vice versa. So she kind of gave up on the situation and pursued different avenues to find balance in her life. What is the masculine bringing in? Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Uh, you know, so here we have express yourself. It's almost like he's sending a message and then he, now he's reading the message and he's feeling a disconnect. Wow, the king of fire in the past position twice. Whoa, queen of fire. And the muse. So the page of cups. So the king past position, synchronicity there. He was very passionate about something. So per perhaps he's dealing with a karmic partner, which is why the ego is showing up. Releasing your ass, ex. This is what he's bringing into the union. Now, he knew he was the king of fire in the past. And he wants the queen of fire. So it's like we got the two wands, the two, you know, the eleven synchronicity here. But there's still... You know, the X, I guess, that is playing a part. So the muse in the future position is messages of love, being in that loving state and feeling that inspiration, that poetic inspiration, and expressing yourself. So the pages are coming in the future, so there could be some form of communication. The Queen of Fire is somebody who stands out, who wants to be known, who wants to be seen, wants to feel accomplished. So... He sees this connection as that passionate uh, twin flame connection. But yeah, let me see what that freaking release your ex is about. It's going to drive me nuts very soon. Okay, so you drew this card because your love life will improve once... You emotionally and energetically release your ex-lover. The benefits of doing so include increased happiness and feelings of freedom, and you will attract a new lover. Okay, so make a decision to let go of the past, peeling away the layers like an onion. Um, and there's a sense of needing to express yourself. Deal with your emotions. Uh, and also, you know, there's a sense of him wanting to write a letter Right, and that's what this card is. So, feeling like he needs to step into the, the light. What is the feminine bringing in? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I always see this as a twin flame card because that's what this is. This whole journey of enlightenment has to do with the twin flame connection it, there's triggers that awaken you so the feminine is being represented as the spiritual sorry about that so um yeah it's like you know she's on this spiritual path and she understands that this twin flame connection is here to illuminate her and we got you know the end of the fool's journey Occurring in the past, unwilling to be triggered. Um, oh wow, the Three of Cups just popped up. When I was shuffling the deck initially, I the card that flipped up was the Three of Cups. So this is all about, you know, the vibe tribe, connection, um, like-minded people. So she... She feels surrounded by friends, um, you know, like she's not alone. And you both felt that, I believe. You know, I feel this card is coming from the past. There's this spiritual connection, this twin flame, king, queen of wands that, um, you know, wands is all about spirituality, right? So illumination. She feels like she's growing so much from it right now. 
So the Destiny card, yep, wow, and the Yin card in the future. So Destiny, she feels this is destined. She surrendered. She real. She understands that this will come to her in in divine time. Positive energy, Yin in the future. You know, this is her moving into that beautiful goddess receptive energy. It's all about growth, also manifestation. So, I believe you know this divine feminine Yin energy is what's being manifested in the future. Um, just being the divine feminine period I, I don't know why I can't go any further than that it's just this major sense of accomplishment um, oneness okay so at the heart is deception someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship so there's a sense of inability to trust goblins showing up in the past the feminine kind of being tired of it <clears throat> turning a direction elsewhere but still feeling that void inability to trust same thing with the masculine inability to trust and um, yeah both need to deal with the ego I guess the Queen of Cups and the Sun okay but the masculine feels this unconditional love for the feminine it could be a water sign um, feels intuitively connected, emotionally um, balanced. The feminine is bringing in the yes card, resounding yes, a sense of power, illumination, innocence, detachment, newness, new beginning. But, I mean, you can't ignore that big old deception card there, even though there's a lot of love and... Um, positivity there's still the you know both aspects are still not trusting each other crowning energy what do you guys want forgiving and learning yeah as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments so both need to forgive each other for whatever has transpired um, and reconnect I guess yeah, the romantic and, wow, the page of cups. So the feminine wants to communicate loving messages, um, you know, close the gap. And same thing with the masculine. This is movement forward, romantic gestures, forgive, reconnect with one another, let the past go. And I see that's what's happening here with the true love and the ego stability reaching out with the leg up okay as a final I'll come to the sea so the feminine goes with the flow love it that's what the, me the message was detachment letting go surrendering all of these cards oops seven Okay, so being in the flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. There are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Yes, nice, perfect. Okay, so let's pull some clarifiers. Yeah, third eye chakra, yang, and the three of swords. So the third eye chakra, you can see it activated here with this meditation card. Um, and the feminine realizes, remembers that she needs to dis dis disconnect, go with the flow, allow events to happen. And then Yang shows up. Um, so this could just be her stepping into that very powerful, controlled energy, uh, authenticity, not being manipulated. Or it could actually mean that the masculine comes to her because she goes with the flow. She finds that balance instead of fighting but then we got the three of swords in the future position so let's see what that's about what does the three of swords in the future mean maybe it's another trigger test I don't know time to observe okay so 
You know, it seems to me like there is some type of heartache that happens. Um, but again, she's not triggered by it. She realizes she has to be the observer. And that's just what the um, emperor's energy is. It's a quiet resolve. It's power, not needing to prove yourself, being the protector, just from the way that you, you stand there in confidence. So he got chop wood. So this is all about cleaning your closet. It's throwing your garbage to the curb. It's dealing with situations that you've been ignoring. Okay, so I really feel it has something to do with that ego card. So then Knight of Pentacles, the King of Swords. Wow, another coupling here. And the Ice Queen. So the Knight of Pentacles taking it slower one step at a time and I think that's what the message was you'll get there just take it slow I can't remember which card it was so there is this ultimate goal he wants to achieve he's not hurrying rushing he's removing the crap from his life so he can move forward and ultimately he becomes the king of swords this could be an air sign um, so he has clarity he has power, strength. It's very similar to the Emperor. Sorry about that. I, I ran out of memory there. Um, so he moves into this crystal clear, powerful um, Emperor type of energy and speaks his mind. He takes his sword. He cuts away barriers, cleans up his life. He reaches that finish line. And then we got the Ice Queen in the future position. So again, this could be an air sign, but I really think this is about clear, concise communication, matching energies, um, saying what you need to say, clearing up that deception. Um, you know, forgiving one another, having an open, open honest conversation. And the feminine listens. She, it's almost like she, whatever she needs, she, whatever she hears, heals her. She's approaching it with a very conscious point of view. Okay, so let's pull two final messages from the universe. What final messages do you have? Feminine first, and I almost want to take this one for some reason, and the masculine. Okay, so the feminine got La Serena and Mermaid with Pink Lotus. So uh, I think that Mermaid with Pink Lotus is all about looking after yourself, loving yourself, taking it easy. Um, which I'm not really seeing. It's almost like these cards should be reversed. Okay, so it says, Close your drowsy, drooping eyes and come with me to paradise. Leave your cares for just an hour to focus on floating flowers. And I see that focus, that seat of intention, um, focusing on something. Uh, let the water soothe your flesh and leave you rested, fit, and fresh. A fair mermaid drifts languidly among the tangled lily pads in a tranquil lagoon. A single pink lotus blossom adorns her hair, and a second floats nearby in a pool. So relaxed is she that her slight movements do little to disrupt the surp surface of the water. So the message is make an effort to relax. Stop what you're doing and take a deep breath. It's time to relax. You're not selfish, and that could be a blessing. Helping your loved ones is an important part of who you are. But sometimes it's okay to set aside your worries about others and take some time for yourself. Maybe you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed. Try not to let it wear you down. Instead, try these relaxation techniques to improve your health or well-being. So close your eyes and imagine a personal paradise. How do you feel? What do you hear, touch, uh, and feel? Let yourself become engulfed in these sensations. Allow your breathing to become slow. So it's like, it's basically that same meditative energy. So number two, take a hint from the mermaid friend and let yourself be soothed by calming water. So take a, a walk near a beach or, you know, find, you know, a babbling brook. 
Uh, number three, are you finding it difficult to relax? So a change in environment is good to reduce stress. A short getaway to pamper yourself. Okay, so the message is to look after yourself. And I see that healing energy right now in the present position for the masculine. Um, but he does need to deal with that ego. Reach out. Ask for help. Clear away the, all the bullshit. Okay, and so for the feminine, La Serena, I'm sure she got this one last week. Can't remember. Okay, so remember those who have come and passed. Yes, leaves, loves that lingered, that couldn't last. Questions raised but never asked. Lulls, the enchanted mermaid song. Remember joys from long ago, friends you now no longer know. Dreams you had no time to sow. Her words are tempting but ring wrong. Captivating mermaid preparing for Day of the Dead is decked out with tiny skulls and flowers. She is seductive and chanting, singing the song, alluring, but dangerous. So the message is don't get dizzy with the songs of the mermaid. Remember to honor loved ones and your past, but do not get swallowed up by memories. Do not forget to live in the, the present and plan for the future, or you will be doomed to live in the shadows of others. Bear in mind that the past shines brighter in your memories than reality ever could. Do not be deceived and falsely remembering what has come before. The saying, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, applies to time as well as space. Remain grounded in the present, not mirrored in the past, or intoxicated with what could have been. A life lived fully in the present will, with a healthy reverence for the past and an optimistic eye of the future is of the best balance. Do not let the mermaid of remembrance beguile you. Okay, yeah, it's like <clears throat> there's this sense of being tempted to be drawn into the past and she is trying to change her focus um, to a more positive place. She's meditating uh, and ultimately I feel, you know, she is finding that balance going with the flow. So be in that yin energy, be receptive, be open, and good news will come to you. All right, guys, I do hope this helps. I'm sending massive love your way. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, cheers.